Hey guys, another video about Diablo 4. Today I want to talk about my five, maybe six beginner tips for Diablo. Uh, what maybe I would have liked to know before I started the game. I hit it level 50 now, so I'm in the mid or late game, depending on how you want to see it. So my char is max level. The only thing that is leveling now is the Paragon. And uh, yeah, game is great. So today is the official release. I guess we see a lot of new people in Sanctuary now. Um, and yeah, I think there are some things that people should know or like to know. And yeah, how you should know it if you don't know it. So today I want to talk about it for sure. No spoiler or whatever. So just some uh, pretty simple things. Uh, first thing is extra skill points. Um, you have 50 levels, but you can get extra skill points. And the extra skill points you can find on the map uh, not on the map sorry you have to fulfill things on the on the map to get extra skill points and you can see here we have like five areas on the map or the the map is divided in five areas and here are the bonus that you can get for doing different things on the area we're talking about getting waypoints defeating strongholds side quests areas discovered side dungeons and altars of lilith lilith um as you can see here first claim is always super easy and fast and the third claim are the ones that give you skill points on every one of those areas as you can see not even i <laughs> have them all i don't even have here the here though i have never the third one besides in the first area and also in one area i don't even have the first one so a lot of extra f free skill points you can get here uh, which I really think you should try to aim for because it will help you 10 extra skill points or 10 extra skill points that makes your character uh, basically yeah basically level 60 to be honest so um, that is important you can find all those things here on the map like I said we talk here about doing dungeons we're talking about getting altars of Lilith uh, what can help is a website that is called I use the d4builds.gg Here's a map that you can see altars of Lilith for example side quests you can see here and dungeons so I guess that is uh, something that Should everybody do and the best thing is maybe especially if you don't feel in the rush do it early uh, Because yeah now you know you're level 50 maybe you now want to do different things and now i have to go back and yeah do this stuff that you can also maybe do on the leveling process so depending on what you like to do this is the first thing that i can advise you go for these 10 skill points that you can get very easy second is a little bit let me say a divided topic we have here in the cities in, in most big cities there is a wardrobe you can go here and also change your outfit. I know it's uh, for a lot of people important uh, how they look in games. You can here change the things, you can change the colors and so on. You can change the style of your weapon uh, here. Sword, you can change the style of your weapon, you can change the style of your ranged weapon or yeah, if you know, if you are a sorcerer, staff and whatever. Uh, people like to do that usually. You get also a lot of money in the leveling process. <laughs> Whatever is the reason, I think till level 50, I spent like zero gold. And I can definitely recommend you from time to time, just go here to the to the salvage. Uh, and yeah, you can upgrade your, your, your weapons. You can just upgrade them because usually the first upgrade is costs like nothing. Now that's maybe, yeah, you see that, that's 1,400 and it gives me plus 8 is not a lot, but on the lower levels of weapons, you can definitely do that. Uh, it's all the time easy peasy doable. You have enough gold. So if you have the feeling like, hey, I have a good weapon, it has a good aspect. Aspect is the legendary thing that we have on the weapons. Then, yeah, why why, why not go for it? Give it one or two upgrades that costs you like three, 4,000 gold, which is like 
one yellow item or one blue item that you sell to the to the uh, to the vendor as you can see let me see i show you super quick the the price of a of a yellow item that you oh, wrong here you have your stash like here this yellow weapon 16000 uh, yellow uh, cloths 5k so super easy to get this money so from time to time if you are in the city if you did not receive an upgrade on the weapon just give it one or two upgrades if you have a nice weapon and go for it and you are fine for for another one or two levels with the same weapon and it barely costs you gold like i said i i barely spent it gold till level 50 i have now 1.5 million and uh, to be honest the only real gold was making a few imprints and yeah st stuff like this next one is on the map you have a lot of dungeons and these dungeons contain a legendary aspects that you can put on your weapon like for example this here the mangled aspect here is for druids only so what i can recommend you is if you know which legendaries you need for your build you can go as well in the on google search for which um which dungeon it is and then you can search here on the map for the dungeon and then you for example hey i need uh, this and then you can go there and as early as possible not with level 5 there are some restrictions so you cannot run just with level uh, 3 to this dungeon and get this legendary you usually have to go into this area kind of naturally but then it's one of the first things that you can do to go into this dungeon um, so that is very important because the legendary aspects they are very important for your build usually every build has like one or two legendary aspects that are 100% needed to really play that build for example in my flurry rogue build is the one that makes the flurry like a fan of knives around me which is super important so that's something that you can definitely do go as early as possible to the dungeon that you need for playing the build that you want let's talk about the mount uh, as you can see the mount is not um, on a level wall that means you can get also the mount pretty early don't get me wrong pretty early means after act 3 you get a quest that you have to come back to the city in the city you have to talk with one person the one person gives you the mount I guess and I hope that's not a spoiler um, so that means after act 3 I think I was level 34 or 35 when I got my mount I'm pretty sure you can do it more early what does it mean it means the mount gives you I mean the map is super big just to just to make that clear so uh, walking from the right bottom to the left top I mean I'm not sure how long this would would take with really with walking um, the mount definitely makes it more easy the mount helps you also to farm those altars of Lilith uh, to go from dungeon to dungeon to go into new areas to arrive uh, yeah everywhere that you want and also I can definitely tell you sometimes you walk from here to here in the story and the first time you have to walk it later on yeah you have the waypoints no problem but first time you have to walk it so if you love the story and i can tell you the story was awesome then definitely i recommend you maybe after the first map that is the this area i would say uh, then maybe if you really really want the mount very hard then you can rush the story i think it's maybe like possible to get it with 28 or something like this at earliest around i would say the mount and yeah then you have the mount very early and you are very fast last tip that i want to give to everybody and i already mentioned the awesome stories play the game at your pace diablo 3 is like 12 years old if i'm not wrong that means we will have this game again around 10 years i'm pretty sure about that especially with nowadays that they you know working and updating on the games even after release 
So don't feel rushed. There, there is, <laughs> there is no rush. I mean, who cares? Who is the number twenty nine level hundred or whatever? Yeah, world first level hundred. Okay, some people will remember that name for a few days more. Uh, stuff like this, but. Again, I can only tell you, play the game on your pace, enjoy the story, the story is really is, is on a top level, the cinematics are on a top le level, I can really really tell you that. I can also say, try different builds, if you want to try different builds, try different classes, if you want to try different, cl different classes, there is no need to feel like, hey, there is this meta build, I only want to run this and I want to run it now. If you run it and you love it, do it. It's, it's a meta build, that means it's good. If you love to play it, it's even better. But if you have the feeling, hey, I want to play range, then yeah, then play a range build. Even with the class is like a rogue, maybe there's a better build, a melee. If you want to play a frost mage instead of a fire mage, even if a frost mage is maybe right now not S or AT spec, play it. Uh, things will change over time. You can still later on decide to go for a meta build if you are facing things that you cannot beat. But it's very easy. To, to be honest, it's very easy. The game, if you play on World Tier 1 or maximum World Tier 2. For nice, smooth and fast leveling, I would recommend you World Tier 1. And then just enjoy the game and figure things out what you would like to do. That's it for this video guys, the game is releasing today like I said, enjoy it, awesome game, I really can tell you, you will have a lot of fun and that's it for today guys, see you, bye bye.